Day. I tell you what, since 2010 when they first announced this game, I thought there's no way it's going to happen. Miami's going to buy its way out of it and we'll never see it happen. But unless they're going to cancel it in the next three hours and uh, 37 minutes, I think they're going to play it. <laughs> so I'm pretty fired up. I know when I was a kid, I used to have this card game where um, you'd pick a card, you'll call a long pass and it would say 25 yard gain, that kind of thing. I remember I played a, always played a schedule with the Toledo Rockets playing big teams, coming to the Glass Bowl. But never more, a lot of those dreams think that it would come to fruition and really actually happen. So this is a great morning. It's going to be a great day. Going to have um, some of my best friends in the world hanging out with me today, which is really cool. Um, one guy we're really going to miss, and uh, it's Steve Palhida. I know um, we've talked a lot about him in the past, but... He was um, a big, I don't, I don't want to say he was a Canes fan, but I, he was in the stadium the day they came back on Michigan when Michigan was up like 31-14 going into the fourth quarter, and they came back and won. He was up there with, I do believe, Smitty and uh, you know Chris Smith and Drew Chambers, and uh, so it was just a, a great experience seeing that come back. So he would always yell, Canes, after that happened for some reason. That's just Steve being Steve. But I know he's looking down today and he is in the stadium so i'm convinced of it and i think because of that even though the rockets are a ten and a half point underdog rockets will squeak out the upset against the number 20 hurricanes your final score 31 30. mark it down and that's it for now see you at the game hope to have a good post game recap some interviews and a great day go rockets t-o-l-e-d-o